Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor presented by Profotic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress WP Query Beginner Tutorial and this is our part 1. Inside this playlist guys, we will discuss about the whole concept of WP Query class in WordPress. So in this part guys, we will discuss about that basically what is WP Query and how can we use this. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous playlist and other videos to get the clear concept about WordPress customizations. So if we move to the YouTube channel and now inside this YouTube channel guys you can find several videos and several playlists about WordPress customizations. You can watch all those videos from scratch. So inside this video session guys this is the newly created WordPress setup. Actually we are learning to our use WP Query class in WordPress. So first question comes in our mind is that what is basically WP Query class in WordPress. So for that just back to folder structure inside wp includes folder guys we have a class file called class wp query and now as we can see and here is the file so just i'm going to open into a gedit editor and now the file is opening so just back to editor and now as we can see that guys this is WP query class file of WordPress found it inside called WP includes folder and this is the file name called class hyphen WP hyphen query dot PHP so what basically this file do so if we go to our editor so basically you can study all the documentation about WP query inside WordPress documentation official website or you can just guide all these things from this file also because here is multiple comments to guide each and every function each and every member variables clearly so what basically this class is so this class is used to fetch all the post related details or page related details in WordPress suppose we have a WordPress website in that website actually we have created thousands of posts or suppose 20 or 30 pages so how can we fetch details into our front-end section so by using WP query class we can provide multiple conditions on the behalf of category on the behalf of taxonomy on the behalf of authors so according to these conditions we can fetch all the details related with post or pages to our front-end section so if I just scroll down to this page we can see that here is multiple variables defined inside this class called query vars, text query, meta query, date query and many more things. These all queries actually related with different different conditions. Suppose we want to fetch some records along with a particular date. So by the help of that date actually WP query class help us to fetch all the details from database table. So basically guys by going through this file actually this file contains lots of methods inside that. So first of all we have to look only two member functions that actually it has defined. The first function is called about have posts. So if I found about have post basically that is something like that. So here is the definition of this member function. So basically have post function is used to count how many posts basically contains our query. And also it returns the result save of our query set and also basically so by going through this have post guys we will actually implement our while condition and also inside while condition guys we want another method which basically increments our loop for incrementing our loop we have another method called the post so if I suppose search function the post this is the member variable basically used to increment our loop so by using these two basic functions guys actually we can fetch all the details related with our post or page with any condition provided as we have discussed in our WordPress frontend page. So how can we use that? So just back to folder structure inside WP query here we have WP content themes and this is currently activated theme called 2017. If you back to browser go to appearance. Inside this appearance section guys as we can see that 2017 theme is currently activated. So if you go to again the post section, in, inside post section guys we have only one post basically the WordPress default provides. So let's create some of the dummy post inside this so click on add new. Let's say that sample post 1. 
and just I have installed a Chrome extension basically used to get all the dummy contents along with our rows and columns. So if I just click on that, paste it here, it has provided all the dummy contents. So this is our first post that we have created with the name called sample post one. Just I'm clicking on publish button. And now as we can see that our first, first post has been created. So let's create another post. So this is let's say sample post two, paste all the dummy contents, click on publish. So here is our second post. So if we go to all post section, now this is two posts that we have created. So how can we get all these posts to our WordPress frontend page? So basically let's make a page, click on add new and let's say that OWT, let's say post. This is the dummy page that we have created to fetch all the details of post that we have created so far. So right now there is no content inside WP post and also we want to implement some of the layouts some of the custom template for this page. So how can we make custom page template for this OWT post that we have created? So just back to folder structure inside activated theme. Let's create a file something called custom OWT template dot PHP. So this is the custom template that we have created. So if I just open up in gedit editor, we have to provide some of the information inside this file to read our template inside WordPress. So let's make a PHP tag first. Inside this PHP tag first I have to make multi-line comment. Inside this multi-line comment here we have to write call template name. This is called something OWT. Let's say our custom post. This is custom post template or also let's say the OWT post template. So if I save this file, go to browser, reload this page again and let's say that OWT only let's say posts. Just scroll down as we can see that guys here we have a drop down called template. Inside this template as we can see that OWT post template that we have created. So just click on that and click on publish button. So again if I go to the front end section of by the help of this permalink as we can see that there is no content inside this template because we have not written any code inside this page. So how can we read all the posts by the help of this page to our front end section? So let's start writing queries for this page. So basically first of all we have, we want our WP query class instance object. So let's say the query which is equal to new let's say WP query this is the class inside this method we have a constructor inside that we have to pass all the parameters and that's parameter something that we want some details along with our author along with our custom taxonomy we want some categories by the help of some post type all the details we want to actually fetch for that we have to provide all details inside array format inside WP query so how can we pass that so let's that condition. So what basically condition is to retrieve all the details that we have actually saved inside our DB table. So first of all we want that post type that we have created something post and also the post status something called publish status. So this is the condition that we are going to pass something called post type and the post status. So by getting all these details guys by putting all these details we are going to fetch all our posts. So just copy this condition go inside WP query and paste all the conditions inside right here. In upcoming videos guys if you want to fetch the records of author categories and many more all the conditions we have to pass inside this conditional array. Okay so after getting the query so just make a copy of that and let's say that if the query have posts. So basically this loop is used to count all the details all the posts along with this condition. It will check that any post find finding along with these conditions or not into our DB table. So if uh, we are going inside this block it means that we have some post along with our conditions. So let's put while condition. So while let's say the query have posts 
So by getting all posts, we actually are going to look through on all the posts that we have created. So as we have seen that to increment our loop, we have a method, something called the query. It contains a method called the post. Basically, it will increment our loop. So why not we are making some comment on these lines. So let's put some content comments. So this is or let's say conditional statements. Okay. And this is our creating WP query instance. This is for checking that checking we have post or not of provided condition and also if I put suppose else condition here it means that inside else condition we have no post with these details and finally by getting all these post here we have to loop through let's say loop through on all posts and finally, if we are implementing our, let's say, incrementing the loop. Okay. So finally, guys, we have made a proper condition of WP query. And finally, inside this if block, we have to restore our original post. For that, we have to use called WP reset post. So something like that, post data. It is used to restore our original post data so finally guys this is the standard WP query loop which is used to fetch all the details of the post or page so let's we want to fetch only the title of our created post for that let's say echo and finally we are making something in paragraph tag okay so paragraph tag or let's say within h3 tag so within h3 tag and finally we have to just provide semicolon concatenate and let's say that get the title get the title is a WordPress function basically used to title of the post or created page so if I save this file go to browser go to front end page reload this page and also guys as we can see that these are the posts that we have created let's provide footer and header of this page so just back to editor for getting our header section, we have to just call a function called get header function. This is a WordPress function basically used to get our header details. And also, get footer is a WordPress function used to get all the footer details. So, if I save this page, go to front end section, reload this section, and now this is our header section, and now this is our footer section. This, these are all the post title that we have saved inside our DB table so if I go to post section these are the post title that we have actually saved and also if suppose we want to get the content of along this title so how can we fetch content for that we have to just call it the content so if I save this page go to front end section reload this page and now as we can see that we got title post content title and post content and so on so basically we have these options either we can use the content or get the content these are the WordPress function basically used to get the content of any WordPress page so inside this video session guys we have made the much more simpler conditions to get all the posts from our DB table also in our upcoming videos we will make some complex queries by using authors by using categories by using custom taxonomy by using dates so all these conditions we actually provide inside this condition array bypassing this conditions array inside WP query along with these, these details actually we can get all the post and loop through all these posts to get up to fetch all the details of of those posts so by the help of this video session guys actually we understood about that what is WP query class inside WordPress and how can we use that in our upcoming videos guys we will see about the complex concept of WP query so if you have any doubt in this video session guys then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day